This delicious recipe is mostly for people who live abroad and cannot cook large quantities. Half a chicken with bomb. I was inspired to use Bombay biryani masala to make a chicken curry and not a biryani. I'm using mustard oil because I like it. You can use any oil. One sliced onion. Saute this. When I make biryani, I use one and a half packet of masala and the half packet that is remaining goes into the fridge. I'm using that now. To that, I'm adding a little bit of salt, red chilli powder and turmeric powder. Mix that into the chicken. You may also use kurma masala. I'm using at least a tablespoon each of chopped ginger and garlic. Saute this lightly. Add the chicken into the onion mixture and as any Pakistani would say bhuno this well and if you do not speak good do all that means is you have to sort it this and medium to high I try to use very little oil but certain dishes do require a wee bit more be patient the oil has to rise to the surface can you see that the oil has risen to the surface I'm going to mix this I've blended three tomatoes this is just the masala I'm going to be adding it into the, the chicken the color is looking so good if you cook chicken curry or any other Pakistani curry on very high heat it has to be medium see what I mean the oil is now starting to rise in the surface also when you're making Pakistani food better to use boiling hot water to make curry in a cup this and cook this for 10 minutes. Green chilies and coriander, very integral part of Pakistani curry. Let's turn the fire off. And this, my friends, is a very biggy chicken curry because I've used the right masalas. You can add some cura if you have rose water right now. You know the food you love at Pakistani weddings? Chicken korma with biryani, taftan or naan. Well, this is it and I made this with Bombay biryani masala. It's so fantastic that when you make this, you're going to dump every other recipe you have.